today I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Our peas are retired, which isn't cool because we love peas, but we got a second batch back there. But since these are retired, they need to get pulled and we're going to use all of the waste and put it into our compost so that way next year we have our own good compost to use in the gardens. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually have to go down to my parents' greenhouse business and I have to get some of the soil that they have left there. It's a garden mixture. And so once I pull this out, I like to work it up a little bit and add some extra new soil. And then we'll go from there and plant up a new bed. So you guys will see me uh, retiring everything to planting up a new bed. I have to make sure I plant things that are going to take off and look good by mid to late August because um, that's when they're coming to do the photo shoot for Country Gardens Magazine. So we're super excited. Two girls, let's go. Oh, we gotta get stuff done. All right, I know I said, come on girls, we got stuff to do, but I got a little distracted. I just wanted to show you guys quick the update of this window box. Just wanted to show you guys that update. All right, come on girls, let's go, let's no, go, let's go. Right here, though, you <laughs> gonna lift? Yeah! Alright, so how many bags do you think we're gonna need? Um, I would do four bags. Four uh, I bags? think that'll be enough. Yeah. We don't need a lot. Yeah. We just need enough to replenish the surface of the soil. Okay. Yep, we're good. Let's hit the road. Let's go back. We got work to do. gloves but uh, for pulling these I am and not that pulling them would hurt my hands because my hands are like callous but um, it's just because there's gonna be spiders in there I just know it and if you hear me scream you'll know it's because there's a spider I know I'm a gardener I shouldn't be scared of spiders but I sure as heck am she so. is <laughs> I'll be called into action if that happens I'll be like, Jason! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna first go ahead and yank them out. We're gonna just pull them like that. They pull really easy. Peas are really easy. So it's not like, you know, pulling broccoli or cauliflower. A lot of times that's really in there or like a cabbage head, you know? So um, it, it pulls pretty easy. So if there are weeds, I'm not putting them in the same compost area. I don't want my compost filled with weed seeds. So um, we're just going to put the weeds off to the side for a moment. Those get dumped into, into a completely different pile. Um, but we want to keep just the, the good veggie leaves and, um, you know, we're composting. That's what we're doing here. So. Dumping in the ranger. I know, I got it easy. <laughs> I got a ranger, so that's nice. No wheeling around and a little wheelbarrow there. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I love my gloves. Um, and no, I'm not paid to say that. I actually really like them. They're, they're by Diggs. And uh, they're really nice because you can throw them in the laundry and wash them nice. They hold up well. So, we're liking them. Can I help? Sure, why not? You got a yank? You throw them in there. Only a little at a time though for you, Missy. I would just pull a few plants at a time over there. That can be your area, okay? Can I pull like the leaves and stuff like this? Nope, pull them right out of the ground. Weeds, no, weeds will stay there. See those weeds hid in there? So I didn't even know they were there because the stuff's so thick and grew in so nice. Um, these are those peas that don't need to be trellised. So that's why I didn't have a trellis. But next year I might. We got one windstorm and they all grew together. And then it was just kind of like, you know. <laughs> you like that, huh, little one? You like that. that are 
they're on the vine. Let them dry out and uh, keep them for, uh, the peas inside would be the pea seeds. Um, but I don't do that. Pea seeds are pretty cheap, so, and it's a lot of, a lot of extra time there. A lot of shelling for no eating. Can't eat it. I'm not shelling it. In case you didn't see that one. No, there it's... was all kinds of them coming out. <laughs> Mr. Daddy Legs. Mr. Daddy Legs. Mr. Daddy Legs, they call them. It's so funny. I hate Mr. Daddy Legs. Mr. Daddy Legs. I Mr. Daddy Legs. I don't like Mr. Daddy Legs. It's so crazy that we're pulling these out when I feel like we just seeded them, you know? But no. that was already in March. Yeah, well, yeah. So I was going to say, think about when these got planted back in March. Yeah. They endured a, uh, a snowstorm. Two snowstorms. Two snowstorms. The weeds don't go in there though. Weeds go right there, Salo, okay? You it was to... it was the first greenery in any of the raised beds. I know, and they were gorgeous. Yeah. You know? but... It was just nice to see something green popping out of them. <laughs> I know, it was, it was. Oh, this one's huge. Um, but what I make sure ah! that I do in here, um, one other thing I wanna let you guys know what I do is I make sure that every single thing is pulled out of the soil. That makes it easier to start over. Hey. Um, if you don't pull everything no. out, no. it'll just no. be kind of a, a root mess and no. kind of harder soil no. and kind of a bulky soil. So as long as you pull everything out, added some nice fine compost in here before we started seeding the peas so once I'm going through here it doesn't seem really hard at all you want to try mm -hmm. it doesn't seem hard at all so um, we're just gonna go through and just kind of rake it like that and then add the fresh soil right on top just as a fresh layer So before we do anything else, after I'm done using my little hand tiller, I'm actually going to let the bed sit a day or two. I see a lot of little bugs kind of coming out, um, everything kind of got a little disrupted. I kind of want everything to just settle down before I add some new soil and add some plants. 